I'm playing Wendy Darling and Peter Pan and Tinker Bell, A Pirate's Christmas. We're going to be at T-Pack down here in Nashville, Tennessee, December 13th through the 23rd. Make sure you get your tickets and come out and see us. So there's a lot of the iconic things you expect, but the spontaneity of the show and the spontaneity of the character and what we get to do with the comedy and then little emotional bits we get to drop in so you actually, you know, your heart strings are pulled every once in a while. So if you've never been to theater before, and this would be an incredible first experience because it's more interactive in that when Captain Hook comes out, you get to boo him. And when Peter Pan comes out, you get to cheer. And we get to talk back with you and get to have fun. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys come check it out at TPEC this month. Come see Peter Pan and Tinkerbell's A Pirate Christmas. We're running December 13th through the 23rd at TPAC Polk We are talking Peter Pan and Tinkerbell A Pirate's Christmas with the Lithgow family here. Can you tell us a little bit about your heart behind why this production is so important, not just for you all, but for families everywhere? Um, you know, I think we live in a time today that the reason why it's so important to come to theatre is especially theatre like this, is that we live in times today that the family is being dissected, you know, with streaming devices, you know, Netflix. I have my Netflix show, Becky, my wife has her Netflix show, my son's on Fortnite, my other son's, you know, watching YouTube videos. There's nothing that brings the family together. I know we're terrible parents. No, no. <laughs> no, but it's we're, all, we're all judging you. Yeah, so we're all judging. Exactly. Um, but, you know, that's the, that's the family dynamic today. And I, and I think that with these shows, Peter Pan especially, uh, brings families together mm, and yeah. to a shared experience and I think that's seri that's really important at holiday. And not just a shared experience with the kids, it's multi-generational mm -hmm. so you can literally bring your parents, the grandparents, the parents, mm -hmm. the kids all together and it's fun for everybody. It doesn't talk down to the kids, it doesn't talk down to the adults. Mm -hmm. There's humor in it for the adults, there's music for everybody, there's singing and magic for the kids. Um, so I think it's really important just bringing the entire family together, like you said, off devices, focused for two hours in the theater. <laughs> 
It's the alternative to the, you know, the Nutcracker and the Christmas carols. That well, and that's the other question, is that there are so many um, traditions around the holidays, but there's also so many remakes being done right now yeah. of, of classic shows, classic movies. How do you balance the, what people expect from the story while bringing something new? Yeah, there's so many remakes. I think, really, um, you've got to tell the storyline that everyone knows and loves, because yeah. it's, it's, it's lasted this long before, right. for a reason. And then on top of that, we add a national flavor. So a lot of the jokes are all national feel centric so mm. you know Captain Hook wants to go to Hattie B's mm -hmm. and there's so much <laughs> traffic I think there's one line where what's the best thing out of Memphis the I-40 yeah. um, you know and we heard the Bachelorette reference there's a Puddle Tavern as well okay don't give too much away oh, sorry. Yeah, but it's very very Nashville centric so I think we, we stick to the storyline for a reason and then we kind of just add additions to it and then I think I think the songs uh, really True. change up the story so instead of your traditional uh, you know we'll say Disney songs sure. as you saw when Wendy busts into a song it's, it's something you've heard on the radio right. uh, I know how to make the boys cry or when Peter Pan sings its fight song by Rachel Platten. So it's 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 songs that move the story along that you know and love. So I think that really changes up the story too. Yeah, what would be the greatest compliment? So let's say we have this beautiful multi-generational family that has come to the show. They walk out. What is it your hope to hear? <laughs> I'm gonna be back next year. <laughs> this is our new family tradition. Yeah, and that to me is the ultimate. I mean I would you know, I have parents and I cherish every moment I get to take my parents somewhere with mm -hmm. my kids. Yes. And and that to me is just the, uh, it just, it's just so heartwarming to, to think that three generations can come together and experience it. And it's what we used to say with the things like American Idol that, that was so successful. You know, you could watch it as, as a three generational Absolutely. program. You might not like the same singer, but you know, you, the grandmother, the mother and the parent could, and the child, sorry, could watch it all together. So I, I, I really, yeah, I really think if they could come and say, We've found our new holiday tradition. Yeah. That's that's the ultimate for us. That's it. Thank you for being in Nashville. Thank, Thank you for having us. We'll be back. Yes. Hopefully every year. <laughs> Tegan Marie, star of the upcoming Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. And Tegan Marie, tell us why this project is so special for you. This project is so special to me because, I mean, it's like a new thing for me, acting. And I'm playing Wendy Darling, and I'm very excited to be putting a little bit of Tegan Marie's, like, sass <laughs> into uh, Wendy Darling. You stepped out just a minute ago and just belted out the most beautiful song. Oh, there was no you. microphone, there was no band backing you up. It was just you, and that can be really intimidating. It can be. Even for a seasoned performer to have <laughs> a number of cameras on you and doing that. Yeah. So what is it in your gut? What is it that motivates you to, to do this? And what do you tell yourself when those, I would imagine the butterflies still creep in. <laughs> so honestly, I, I was mo more nervous in there with like how many people were in there like 10 yeah like yeah like uh but when i'm out like doing a concert like on stage with like thousands of people or even hundreds like i'm not really nervous i don't know why like mm -hmm. i feel like more people the more energy mm -hmm. but then sometimes it's the other way around Be alive.